So welcome to Geometry. Today is May 5th. Um, slide if you can have a paper and pencil just for your notes so that way when you do your do now or your exit ticket um you guys have notes and you know how to do those make sure to try to ask questions if you can and attend office hours if you don't know um if i don't get a chance to answer your questions today then office hours on wednesdays and fridays from two to three is the best time to ask in the chat box go ahead and do your stress check so how are you feeling from zero to ten? Zero means you're feeling great 10 means you're not feeling good at all, or maybe you feel somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in. As you guys can see, I put a one because it's pretty good, um, but I also still feel a bit tired. Things on my mind. Oh, you're at a six, Olivia, I see that. Well, hopefully it gets better because I feel like a six isn't great, but. Yeah few things. Um, zero. You had a zero? Right. Um, let's look at our objectives for today. So the point will be to review how to find the area of a triangle, and then we're going to find a parallelogram. Okay. So what our do now? Um, so for our do now, let's find the missing angle. So if we look at question one, hopefully you guys remembered that activity where I have you guys um, I can't remember for your class, it's the one where I had you guys cut the triangle, you tear it up into three pieces. Um, but when you tear, let's say if you tear them up into three pieces, when you put them together, they all make this, like you can just put all the edges together and they all make 180 degrees. So how do we find this answer? Well, we go 23 plus 120 plus X, and that's supposed to be equal to 180. So we do 120, I mean, sorry, 23 plus 124, that's equal to 147, okay? Plus X is equal to 180. So now that we have that, we're gonna find X by itself. So in order to find X by itself, we do need to subtract 147 from each side. That cancels out and that leaves me with x is equal to and then that becomes three and that is whoa i did something right i did it wrong that's not four that's supposed to be seven this is supposed to be three 33 degrees is your answer so when you now make sure to type that in and then for question number two find the area of a triangle hopefully you remember that area of a triangle and if not if you don't remember make sure you have this in your notes it's base times height all over two, you divide it by two. So what's my base? My base is 18. Divide that by my height, which is six. Divide that by two. Um, and then I know that 18 times six is 104, I believe it was from last time. Divide that by two. Let me double check because I don't wanna give you guys the, the wrong answer. Um, but Oh, 100, sorry, you go 18 times six, sorry, 108, not 104, 108. Oh, that makes sense. And then divide that by two, and that's gonna give you um, 54. But remember, yeah, 54. So your area, you would type in here, you would just put in 54 when you do that on, um, on school. All right, so the problem is, Miss, I wasn't done copying. Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so this is a parallelogram. Now, in order to find the area of a parallelogram, we should have an idea that a parallelogram is similar to a rectangle. Let me show you how. So if I draw a straight line from the top corner perpendicular to the base, so look, I drew a line down the, the parallelogram. That makes a right angle first of all, right? Notice I'm gonna do that again here. Notice what happens to the triangle. You guys see this triangle? Yeah. If I move it to the other side, what does it become? What does a parallel, per, the parallelogram now become? A right angle. Well, and it becomes a rectangle, right? That's a parallelogram. It becomes a rectangle. 
So when we're finding a, the area of parallelogram, we have to take into consideration height and base. So a parallelogram has the same area as a rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle? Do you guys remember? Base times height. Good. So we go here, area is equal to base times height. So guess what? The area of a parallelogram is the same thing. It is also just area is equal to base times height. Mm -hmm. Do you guys need more time on this slide? Let's take a look at this parallelogram, okay? So going back to what we just talked about, we said that the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. So looking at this example, this is my base and this is my height, right? This is how tall it is and this is a base. So if it's base times height, another way to say it is also length times width. The base is seven, the height is two. So I just multiply that. What's seven times two? 14. Good. And then the units are centimeters, but remember, anytime we have area, we do centimeters squared. To the power of two? Good. To the, or to the power of two. Really good. So then we're done with that one. That's it for question number one. So again, we're just doing the area of this parallelogram. So what am I going to do here? Base times height. Okay. What's next? Um... Six, six times five. Good. Again, because it was base times height. That would be 30. 30 to the to feet. Squared. That's how we put it. 30 feet squared. Okay. Really good. So that is how you find the area of a parallelogram. Do you guys have any questions about Okay. So we're going to look at questions one and two and then we're going to practice those um, together a bit, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do, again, we're going to write the formula. Oh, not what I meant to do. Area is equal to base times height. Okay. And I'm going to label things. So they give me what the base is, they give me what the height is. Or the thing I do. What is the area? Do they tell me what the area is? No. They do. Wait. So look carefully. What's the area? Base times height. Good. But do they tell me what area? It says area is equal to, what do they say area is? 10. 10. So where it says A for area, I'm going to put 10. Do they tell me what the base is? Yes. What is it? I kind of highlighted Five. it. Five. Five. And then do they tell me what H is? No. Oh. So that's what I'm trying to find out. So I'm going to leave that the same. So remember, if I want to get H by itself, what do I do if it's multiplication? What's the opposite? Adding. Mm, opposite of multiplying. Dividing. We divide each side by five. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other okay, side. Okay. If I plug that into the calculator, five is two, which is equal to H, and that's my height. That gives me this number that's missing. Okay. All right, and I know these sessions are pretty quick, so I have to go through the information really fast in a way, um, but something I want you to know is we do have office hours. So on Wednesdays and not Fridays at two o'clock, that's when I go over things a little bit more slowly or if you need more help, I can help you then too. You don't have to come to it, but it's a good time for you to come um, get more help if I couldn't give you the help during the session. So we have areas equal to base times height, again. So do they tell me what the area is? Yes. What is it? 9.2. 9.2. Do they tell me what the base is? No. No, so we're gonna leave that the same. Do they tell me what the height is? Yes. 2.3, good. So now that we looked at that, do, how do we get B by itself? Divide. Good, divide by? 
two point three. three on each side because whatever I do to one side I have to do to the other side and then I go two divided by 2.3 that's equal to four so I know that my base is four a lot of information but to quickly kind of look over it anytime you're I say find the area of this okay just as a quick little review you go this is a height this is a base if I say find the area, just go area is equal to base times height. So you go that times that, and that'll give you the answer. Okay. Hang on, Miss. Okay. Oh, the word problem. Look at it. So it says Louis is shopping for new flooring in his house. Okay. So he's trying to put like floors on his house. Each box of tiles covers 25 square feet. So we know that each box. I don't even want to show you guys that yet. All right, so we're going to say the box, right, of tiles. There's tiles in there. And then in that box of tiles, there's 25 square feet. Or each one, sorry, 25 square feet. And then the house measures 50 feet by 30. So we're going to go 50 feet. By 30. So we need to find that how many boxes we need to cover the whole thing, right? So if we want to cover this whole thing. Like if I'm asking you, cover this whole thing. We're going to find area. How do we find area of that? We go base, back to the same thing. Base times height. So what's my base? Your base is 30 feet, if I'm correct. One, usually base is the one going this way, usually. Oh. It's 50. But 50 and the one because height think of height like someone um how tall someone is right someone's height so oh that's the one going up and down and sorry that's supposed to be 30 not 36 it looks like the six so what's my height 36 well 30 sorry it looks like a six but it's 30 and multiply that 50 times 30 is a thousand five hundred so that's how big my house is just in feet when it comes, not my house, but Louie's house. Aww. Okay, that's their height. So now, I mean, sorry, that's the area. So now we need to figure out how many boxes do we need to fill up that amount. So there's a few options. We can go 25 plus 25 all the way to get so we get to 1,500. Or we can just go 1,500 divided by 25. And again, I know that this part can get really confusing sometimes because, again, we're going through it real quick. As long as you got the area of the parallelogram, you're going to be okay. So we're going to go, that's 60. 60. So that's 60 feet, or sorry, that's how many boxes we're going to need. We're going to need 60 boxes to fill up the whole house. Again, that's a lot of information, but the point is you just know the area of a rectangle is base times height. Of a parallelogram is also base times height. That was the lesson today. That's it. If you know area is base times height for rectangles or parallelograms, then you're good to go. Um, all right, guess the meaning. So this is where we stop. Don't say the answer out loud. In the chat box. I didn't I didn't okay, copy we'll, it. we'll go back to it. So I'll go back to it, Joel. But if you know the answer, type it in the chat box. Don't say it, type it. And remember, I give you guys points if you know the answer. Corn. All right, so we got our response corn dog. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can either ask me those or you can type them in the chat box or come to office hours. But before even I do want to quickly review what you're supposed to do. Make sure you did your do now. Make sure you did your exit ticket for today. The exit ticket will be up at one o'clock sorry at 1230. Um it'll automatically come up. And then CFA, so on the list of assignments that you're supposed to do, the part where it says CFA 3A, um, make sure to complete that because I've only received Joel's and those I do, and then Ariel, I also got yours. I do need to receive those because those we're gonna talk about those at our math meeting, so please turn those in. And then um, there's also a do now coming up in the next like minute, it'll be posted on Schoology, so you're due now for the next class. If you guys have any questions, I am on Zoom. 
on Wednesdays and Fridays from 2 to 3 p.m. Um, the link is different though. Make sure that you come to Zoom hours, either you go to Ms. Varney's page, my page, or Mrs. Ducharme's page, we have office hours. Um, and let me show you how to find that. Uh, quickly, if you don't know, just in case you don't know how to do that, you just go, well, that's all my mom's stuff. You guys don't need, can you guys see my screen? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't see my screen? Okay. I gotta show you guys all my mom's stuff I was looking up for her. Um, if we come, 